very few modern AAA releases can claim to be as influential as From Software's Dark Souls, a game so revolutionary in its concepts that its core tenets have morphed into an entire genre known as Souls-likes. Over the last decade, we have seen many developers' takes on this formula to varying degrees of success, but that doesn't mean that the future of Souls-likes is looking dim in any way. 2022 and beyond is a great time to be a Souls-like fan, and here are 15 upcoming Souls-likes that you should keep an eye out for. Salt and Sacrifice Set against the backdrop of a high fantasy world, this follow-up to the 2016 release Salt and Sanctuary is a more fleshed-out take on From Software's classics like Dark Souls and Demon Souls. In addition to brutal difficulty and gargantuan bosses, Salt and Sacrifice will also feature a healthy assortment of multiplayer options from summoning other players to engaging in PvP to invading other players' worlds. In all honesty, it's Dark Souls, but in 2D. Salt and Sacrifice releases for PS4, PS5, and PC on May 10th, 2022. Black Myth Wukong Developed by indie studio Game Science, Black Myth Wukong takes heavy inspiration from the classic Chinese novel Journey to the West. You take the role of a monkey warrior who sets out on a quest to defeat the many fantastical beasts that lie in his wake. The combat is extremely fast-paced and parry-heavy, which is a direct nod to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Black Myth Wukong also features gorgeous visuals and stellar art direction, and we all can't wait to dive into it when it releases sometime in 2023. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order 2, rumored. Respawn Entertainment's Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order was a fresh, if unconventional, Star Wars game, featuring thoughtful Souls-like combat and enticing exploration alongside a decent, if not great, story. We know that a sequel to the game is in the works, and rumors suggest that an announcement will happen in May during the Star Wars Celebration Festival. If the last game is anything to go by, fans are in for a treat. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order 2 doesn't have a release date at the moment. Timesia Heavily inspired by Bloodborne, Timesia puts players in the shoes of a 17th century plague doctor who wakes up in a dilapidated kingdom with no memory of his past. Now it's up to you to venture out exploring this world and find the many secrets that lie within its four walls. The combat relies heavily on dodging at the perfect time and following it up with a swift strike from your shifting weapons. Additionally, you can also turn into a raven to inflict some serious damage upon your enemies. Thymesia releases for PC and current-gen consoles sometime in 2022. Hollow Knight Silk Song Team Cherry's 2017 release Hollow Knight is easily one of the very best and unique Souls-likes of recent memory. Masterfully juxtaposing its cutesy art style against a brutal world brimming with tough-as-nails bosses and enemies, its highly anticipated follow-up, Hollow Knight Silksong, will see players undertake a journey through the kingdom of Farloom as Hornet. It features the same simple yet thoughtful combat while introducing new tricks and techniques to make this game markedly more different than the original. Hollow Knight Silksong releases for Switch and PC sometime in the near future. Lies of P Taking an unlikely inspiration from the popular story of Pinocchio, players assume the role of the long-beaked boy as he ventures out into the city of Krat to defeat the many deadly puppets that threaten the land. The visuals and art direction look gorgeous, and the combat system and featured weapons are highly reminiscent of Bloodborne. Lies of P releases for current-gen consoles and PC sometime in the near future. Flintlock – The Siege of Dawn Developer A44 Games' upcoming Flintlock The Siege of Dawn is all about battling vicious enemies in a vast open world of the City of Dawn. You play as Nor Vanek, a soldier on a quest to cleanse an army of undead alongside your pet buddy Enki. Gameplay will be a challenging affair, and players will be using both melee weapons and magic alike to dispense their foes. Flintlock The Siege of Dawn releases for PC sometime this year. Deepening Fire Set against the backdrop of a lost kingdom, Deepening Fire is a 2D Souls-like that sees players assuming the role of a lone soldier on a quest to defeat the many gargantuan bosses that inhabit this land. In addition to the unforgiving combat, Deepening Fire will offer multiple gear sets to acquire, weapons to collect, and builds to try out. It'll be released for PC sometime in the near future. Wu Chang Fallen Feathers Developed by Chinese studio Benzi Games, Wu Chang Fallen Feathers is a Souls-like set during the Ming Dynasty of ancient China. 
The game follows Wu Chang as she ventures through this kingdom and battles the many threats that lie in her wake. On top of great art direction, Wu Chang Fallen Feathers features combat that takes heavy inspiration from Bloodborne. It releases for current gen consoles and PC sometime in 2024. Necroblade Necroblade describes itself as an amalgamation of Souls-like gameplay along with survival elements. Players make their way through a kingdom inhabited by a multitude of different kinds of enemies. But the catch is that a curse of your choice will constantly make your life harder, requiring you to be well prepared for the worst at all times. Necroblade releases for PC sometime in 2023. Wronged Us Unlike every other game on this list, Wronged Us isn't a proper Souls-like. It's a survival horror game at its core. However, it does take inspiration from From Software's classics, for its looping level design and its handling of side quests, where players don't get any information and updates on where to go and what to do next. Other than this, Wronged Us's gameplay looks to be a standard third-person shooting affair, albeit with many horrifying monsters. Wronged Us releases for PC, PS4, and Xbox One sometime in the near future. Mortal Right Played either solo or in co-op, developer Round Toast Studios' upcoming Mortal Right is a roguelike dungeon crawler that tasks players to ascend up a tower filled with increasingly difficult enemies. Mortal Right features combat that is thoughtful and, as such, requires players to strategically hit their opponents over button mashing until their health bar withers down. There are multiple character classes as well, each of them having their own different fighting styles, strengths, weaknesses, etc. Mortal Right releases for PC sometime in spring of 2022. Solstice Modus Games' Solstice sees players controlling two protagonists who are linked by some sort of soul chains at the same time. As they battle out the many enemies, the sword fighting is intense and fast-paced, which is a direct nod to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. In addition to the general combat, Solstice also features near automata esque 2D platforming sections, which should shake up the general gameplay proceedings. Solstice releases for PC sometime in 2022. Lost Sector Lost Sector is a Souls-like set against the desolate and interconnected open world that's inhabited by many different kinds of threats. From regular cannon fodder enemies to nimble foes with hard-hitting combos, Lost Sector features challenging gameplay and changing environments that should appeal to fans of Souls games. Aether Rendered in gorgeous pixel art, Aether is a game that's all about fighting deadly monsters in a fantasy setting. Played through an isometric perspective, players get to choose from a variety of weapons and playstyles, each offering their own unique strengths and weaknesses that will be put to the test in unforgiving boss fights. Aether releases for PC sometime in the near future. That's all for now. If you enjoy what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe. We upload brand new videos every single day. After subscribing, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time, right here on Gaming Bolt.